Hey, quad bros. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Glad you guys are joining me. I wanted to get a guerrilla gameplay video out for you guys today, but the enlisted devs have uh, have decided that they're going to put out some pretty big news. As you guys can see, we've got a big event going on, as well as uh, the uh, veterans box or whatever they called it before is out as well. So we, we kind of got to talk about both these things. Uh, if it was just one or the other, we could maybe skip it, but, but with both, we got to do full video on it. So keep an eye out tomorrow. We'll finally get a gorilla gameplay video out for you guys, as well as a guide for gorillas, uh, probably early next week. So again, keep an eye out for those like, and subscribe, yada, yada, yada for all that stuff. Um, as for the event, uh, it's a pretty standard event. It's going on for just 14 days. So it's actually, it's actually pretty short. It's on the shorter side. So from the 10th, which is today when this video releases to the 24th, uh, so just two weeks and you can see here. Um, oh wow, it's only one squad. So yeah, so 20,000 in two days and it looks like uh, you just need to do five days, right? So you only need to do this five times to get the squad, which is pretty nice. Um, so you have two extras or two sets of, of 20,000 that you can skip. Um, and I don't know, it shouldn't be that big of a deal because I think a lot of players are pretty excited for the game right now because they're wanting to grind out the new Gorilla Squad. And um, by doing so, you'll get a French Resistance Squad. And if you do it one more time, you get the Gold Weapon Order. So pretty cool. Um, so French gorillas here obviously are going to be for the allies. Uh, they come with the Munier or Munier. I don't know. Uh, A6. I'm sure French people are going to be yelling at me about that. Um, Semi-auto rifle. Uh, what BR is this? It doesn't actually say. It's a semi-auto, so I'm guessing BR3. Especially with 15 round magazine. It could be BR4 even because it's 15 rounds. Um, it's a fixed round of us. It's a fixed mag though. So uh, damage and a convenient open site. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't actually say. Interesting. I'm also kind of surprised that the Japanese don't get a squad because that means they'll be the only class that doesn't have two uh, gorillas, uh, either through premium or through the tech tree. They'll only just have one. So that's kind of interesting. Um, and I also kind of feel like Japan makes the most sense of all the factions to have multiple gorillas. Them and like the Soviets, maybe at least like from a historical standpoint. I guess like obviously we had these uh, these French resistance soldiers. Anyway, um, pretty cool. I'm I'm excited for this. It's also a nice short event, so that's cool. Now on to the other thing that's happening is um, well, there's no other way to say this. It's a loot box, uh, and that's I don't know. People have been talking about this for a long time. I don't I don't know. Um, they at least put the numbers in here, so. I don't know. Let's take a look. So, um, it's available for purchase for uh, about a month, October 10th to November 4th. So it's like 25 days or something like that. Um, and then it'll be removed and then it can return later. So every time you open the chest, you have a chance to get one of the rare event squads equipped with the MP40 silenced, the Vickers, uh, Mark one, number two machine gun, which I think is not a paratrooper squad or the AT 44 assault rifle. Ooh, I don't have that actually. Um, and then there's also a list of valuable rewards, such as uh, pistols, stingers, Luftwaffe. Uh, you can get the, you can get a soldier. You can get the P47D with M8 rockets. Uh, you will not receive duplicate squads. That's pretty good. There are no, there's no limit on how many event weapons you could get. Sorry guys, I'm a little sick. I got it. My nose is a little stuffy. Um, but okay, so that means I could have like 20 stingers. That's kind of funny. Okay. Um, so now here we are in game. Let me. Uh, and then, so if we go to the shop, we can see it right here. It's 5,000 silver. I have a million, 1.5 million, so I can buy quite a bit of these. Uh, so let's just open 10, see what we get. Look at these numbers here. So 1% chance for squad. So I'd have to happen to open a hundred, which would be 500,000 silver to on average, get one of these. Um, whatever this is, uh, a weapon, weapon upgrade order, unique soldier, soldier level up. So yeah, these are not that great of odds. I feel like this should maybe be more like 2%. But it is a veteran's box for a reason. Uh, so let's just open 10 of these and see what we get. Okay, I got some vehicle decorators. That's cool. Uh, and I got a bunch of boosters and a soldier for 50,000 silver. Okay, so the net, the net loss here has to be astronomical, right? Like, because like leveling up a soldier costs like gold and the appearances is not that much in these boots yeah that's got it this <laughs> okay let's open we'll do 10 more and then we'll call it quits all right gambling stream guys gambling video 
Whoa! <laughs> I got 2,000 silver back, guys. Wow. I got a sword. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, I mean, I have a bunch of boosters now. The problem is that I don't really need boosters, but I guess I have a 550% XP boost now. So I guess that's kind of cool. I'll be able to make a lot of silver off of this back. So that's neat. Uh, but yeah, I spent, what, 100,000 silver and got basically a bunch of, like, like orders for appearance, which I have, like, 2,000 of. Um, did I get any, like, soldier level ups? Honestly, I didn't even, like, look because I kind of didn't care about them. No, I really didn't. So, like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's pretty, that's pretty pricey for, for, um, for what it is there. I don't know about that one, guys. Uh, maybe these odds need to be a little bit higher just because it's like getting the getting the chance for one of these. Oh, wait, but is so is this so it's a one percent chance for this? It's a one percent chance to get a squad, and then from those squads, is it like does this all add up to a hundred percent? I bet it does. Five, ten, twenty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five. Uh, 60, 72, 84. Yeah, yeah. I, I bet when you add this all up, it's about 100%. Okay, so like, yeah. See, I feel like if you have all these squads in here, then there should be a higher chance. Because what are all of these? Yeah, you have so many of these squads in here. I feel like this should be a higher chance to get these. In my opinion. Because if you're going to have like 4, 8, like 11 different squads shouldn't we have like a good chance of getting these like maybe the squad thing should be like five percent and then if you want to make these lower like each individual one you want to make the like the quote-unquote lamer of these then like yeah that's fine but like you'd have to spend five hundred thousand silver to get just one of these and then you know there's 11 of them so you'd have to spend like five million silver to be able to get the rest of these like who who the hell has that right like in my opinion and this is kind of like old school dark flow, I think. Like, I think dark flow has been a lot better about this recently. But I think this is one of those things where it's like, it's like coming back to their old selves, where I think the people who this is targeted at probably already have all of this stuff, right? Does that make sense? Like, if you have the amount of silver to be able to take advantage of this chest, then you already have everything that's in this chest and thus you don't really need this chest and it doesn't really matter. Also, please guys, do not invite me. Side thing, this always annoys me people invite me. If you want to play with me, join Discord. I play with people in Discord whenever I'm like randomly playing games and getting like footage and stuff like that. Like, if you want to play with me, join Discord, don't randomly invite me because if I'm not in Discord, I'm probably recording and then you're screwing up my video. Uh, <laughs> not that that's that big of a deal. But anyway, back to the main point. Um, yeah, I think anyone who like has this, like already has this stuff. Right, like anyone who, anyone who, uh, oh, you can get a hundred thousand silver, okay. But anyone who or who already like has enough to take advantage of this box already has all these squads, and thus it doesn't really matter. So I think they should make this squad chance a lot higher. Um, maybe make it like five percent or something like that, and then it's like a higher chance that you can actually like reasonably get stuff from this box. So I don't know. That's my that's my whole spiel. I hope that makes sense. I hope I'm not rambling too much. I kind of feel like I am, so I'll I'll stop. Um. But yeah, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this uh, down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys think about both the event and, of course, more importantly, I think people are gonna want the, the devs are gonna want the feedback for this for this chest here. And obviously, they named it like Rocket Hail, so I'm guessing that they plan on like rotating them through and like changing what boxes are gonna be like available and what squads are gonna be available. So they have time to like work on it. So they could either drop the cost or drop the um. Or, or increase the odds of, of, of the stuff inside. So, um, yeah, that's it, guys. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. I'd love to hear them. I'm sure the devs would as well. Remember to like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And without anything else, um, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.